Braves and won the Stanley Cup. We're the winners. We're the winners. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. It's better to leave what you do best too early than too late. And that statement has tremendous impact on what my decision is today. Now, I take pride in saying I've been blessed to not miss an NHL play-by-play -play assignment after over 3,100 games. <laughs> For that, I'm forever grateful, and a big thanks to the trainers, doctors that uh, got me through some tough sick moments. And that brings me to now and my decision to step away as Voice of the Flames. Whoever is selected to take that broadcast seat, I offer nothing but the very best with this message. This is the NHL, the National Hockey League. Treat every game, every broadcast with respect and reverence. Remember, it's an honor to be a broadcaster in the greatest league in the world. And the Flames take the puck, Glenn Cross, passing it into the middle to Aginla. Aginla on right wing now, into the Minnesota zone. Aginla goes to the corner, pass it, Freddie Fjord! Jerome Aginla has scored goal over 500! Yeah, baby! There was some talk about having a farewell game. That would put the focus on me. The game isn't about me. I'm the messenger. I'm telling all the audience, the listeners, about our team. In this case, the Calgary Flames. Since arriving in Calgary in September of 1980, I have thousands, maybe millions of people to thank for this wonderful ride that I've had living the dream.